All right, histogram for do group data. Here we go, buddy. Let's do it. So, all right, these, these problems are not fun. Um, uh, one thing that'll help is scratch paper <laughs> with this one. <laughs> so, because um, what a histogram is, there we go. <clears throat> what a histogram is, is it's just a bar chart that is a visual representation of our data. We use histograms all the time in statistics, all right? Because it'll show us kind of where our mean is. It'll show us how spread out our data is. And, um, you know, it'll show us like how symmetrical our data is. We're going to use histograms a lot, all right, in this class. And you will in the future, even when you get to uh, like Dr. Holman's 360 class, um, or if you're unlucky enough to take it with me, <laughs> we'll use them again. All right, but the way that these problems work, you don't have to really, you don't really have to read these, um, all the all the junk in these, but you do need to actually pay attention to what it's asking you. All right, so <clears throat> you're going to draw the histogram out. All right, but it, it what it, what it'll do is it'll either give you a starting point and a class width, or it'll give you class boundaries. And I'll explain both of those here. We'll try two of these so that I can show you the two different ways that you're going to see these problems, okay? Because um, they change them just a little bit. Um, there's there's two different types of problems here. Um, they're very, very similar, but you can it's really easy to jack them up. So anyway, let's just go ahead and dive into this one, all right? So, um, so following our distances and miles traveled to the workplace by Antion employees of a university, blah. All right, notice that these are not in order. That's important. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get to it in just a minute. So draw the histogram for these data using an initial class boundary of 1.5 and an ending class boundary of 46.5 and five classes of equal width. What is a class? A class, each one of these bars here is a class, okay? Now notice we've only got four here. It wants five. So that's the first thing you take a look at when it gives you the number of classes. If you want to add a class, you just click this button right here and ta-da, now I've got five. All right, so we're going to have five. And our initial class boundary on this one is going to be where does these classes start? Okay, and so that's going to go right in here. And so my initial boundary is 1.5. Oops, 1.5. Okay, and my ending boundary, 46.5, which is way over here. So that's my ending boundary. Okay. So now you have to figure out the rest of these and always set up your graph before you actually start doing this this number here, okay? Because um, you'll get it all wrong if you don't do it this way, all right? So, but we have 1.5 and 46.5, so you need to figure out how many classes, what, what, the, what the beginning and ending points of each one of these remaining classes are, all right? The way that you do that is you take your highest class, 46.5, subtract your lowest class, five, giving me 45, and then divide that by how many classes there are. There's five classes, so my class width is gonna be nine. Okay, it'll almost always be an even number. So you know, if you do, if you're coming out with like my class boundary is like you know one dot six seven, you no, know, that's probably not right. <laughs> okay, but it's all right, man. So you know, just just double check your math on it, and then so to figure out what these are going to be, we just take that class width, which is nine, and add it to our bottom one. One dot five plus nine gives me twenty four. So this one's going to be twenty four. Add nine gives me 33, add 9, gives me 42, is this right, oh I skipped one, oops, <laughs> see pay attention to what you're doing, <laughs> so 1.5 plus 9, there we go, this one's 10.5, my bad, 10.5, Plus 9 gives me 19.5. There we go. This makes more sense now. So some of you are probably watching me doing that and say, oh, watch Pat get this one wrong. <laughs> it's, it's, it happens. So there we go. 28.5 plus 9 gives me 37.5. And then the last one that you add, if you take this one and add 9, you should always get whatever your ending class boundary was. Make sense? All right. Easy breezy. Just tedious, more so than anything else. All right, so now we have to like draw the bars, okay? 
Um, don't need scratch paper for this one, actually. I'm, th there's another one that's polygons, um, which we might do. That one you do need scratch paper for. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm getting myself a little bit confused here. But these ones are pretty straightforward. Um, but you got to put all these numbers in order here, okay? Um, let me show you the super hack for this. Just um, clear out your calculator, grab them all. Oops, no. Sorry. Click on the box first, then grab them all. And notice how it puts them all in the calculator like that. Bam, hit your sort button. And so that makes life way easier, <laughs> okay? So, because now all we have to do to figure out this first one is count how many of these numbers in here are between 1.5 and 10.5, okay? And unfortunately, you can't expand the calculator, so this is kind of a pain. Um, but, you know, it's... I mean, it's probably the easiest way that I've I've been able to find to do it. If you find a better way, that's great. So between 1.5 and 10.5, that's at first 2, 5, 5, 7, 10, 10. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'll take this up, 6. Right there, next is 10.5 and 19.5. So that's uh, 11, 15, 15, 16. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. See those guys right here? 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. 20 would be too high. So we're going to take this up 4. Okay, next one is 19.5 to 28.5. So it's going to be 20, 21, 22, 27. So that's 4. Actually, using your fingers is much easier. <laughs> and so the next one is 28.5 to 37.5. There is 2, 32 and 37 right there and then from 37.5 to 46 I just see two 40s so that's two all right so that should be it but there's one last thing that we need to do add all these up and make sure that you get the same number so 18 so 6 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 oops plus 2 plus 2 bam 18 we're good always do that check sum at the end if you don't do that you might regret it <laughs> okay because these problems are a lot of work there we go yeah we got one <clears throat> all right hope that's helping let's see if we can find one of the other ones in here all right so the other kind they don't give you um i don't think they give you the ending boundary okay so but they do give you the class width so let's see if we can get one of those all right. Yes, like this one. Initial class boundary of 59.5 and a class width of 5. It doesn't tell you how many classes, but it does tell you how wide they are. So with these, what you're going to do is you're going to take a look at your data. Okay, so grab your calculator. Grab all this stuff, sort it out, and take a look at what your highest number is. All right, my highest data point, or my highest datum here is 82. And I can see you, you spooking around right there, 82. All right, so we need to create enough classes that it will actually capture this 82. All right, and so we start with our bottom one, which is 59, 59.5. Okay, and remember 82. So 59.5 class width of 5. So we start with our 59.5 add a class width, so which is 5. So this one's going to be 64.5. Okay. Add another one, 5. Which is going to give us 69.5. Okay. Add another one, plus 5, which is going to give us 74.5. And add another one, which is going to be 79.5. Um, which isn't, it's not going to capture the 82. So what we got to do is we just got to add another one. Okay. So 79.5 plus 5, 84.5, that will capture our 82. Okay. So like I said, you're going to get one of the two types of problems. Just identify which problem it is first. Make sure that you're filling out this bottom and you get your classes set up correctly. Because now this problem is no different than the last one. All we have to do is um, grab, no, oh, sorry, grab all our data again. Click sort in the calculator. <laughs> and now we go through and look at it. So between 59.5 and 64.5. Um, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. So this is 64. So that's going to be 9 right there. So 64.5, of course, would be higher. All right. So next one's between 64.5 and 69. 64.5 and 69 is going to be this guy. One, two, three, right there. Two, three. And then between 79.5 and 74.5, 
or 69.5 and 74.5 would be 1, 2, 3, 4. Got it? And then between 74.5 and 79.5 looks like two, these two right here. And then there's just one, the 182. That's over 79.5. Check. Ta-da! <laughs> I 